Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Joe Oceanside and I search urban areas for lost treasure. Today we are searching this bridge in the busy city of Miami. We're looking for guns, wallets, bicycles, anything that people may have thrown off this bridge right here while driving by. On this dive, I'm using the OTS Spectrum full face dive mask and I have a GoPro attached to it so you can see what I see. My dive system is the Nomad Mini by Blue. This is an all electric dive system. It runs off of two little batteries. It'll run out here for about an hour. I've got no tanks on me, so I'm nice and lightweight and I've got room for all my treasure hunting gear right here. So let's get in the water and check it out.
Alright guys, so we just searched one location. We found two laptops, I found a burner phone, and I found a knife. So definitely a lot of criminal evidence in this area. But I don't know what's going on. We just saw two police boats go this direction really fast. And on this bridge here, we just saw, no joke, about 35 police cars and rescue vehicles heading towards downtown Miami. So prayers that everyone's safe, but it seems like something big is going down in Miami. But while they're dealing with that, we're gonna find one more location and see if we can find any lost phones, wallets, or anything like that. This is downtown Miami right here, and this is a busy bridge that crosses over the bay from downtown Miami down to Miami Beach. We're gonna search under the pilings here. A lot of people drive by here, walk by here, so there could be something interesting in there. This is a Nerf Mega Blaster that's still in pretty good condition. It's worth over $44 at the store, so if I clean it up, I may be able to get it to work again. This is an Apple iPhone 12. It was worth about $800 when it was released, but this one got salt water inside of it, it's broke apart, and it's totally junk. This is an old style flip phone cell phone. Criminals often use these as burner phones, so they'll use them once or twice, and then they'll ditch them into the water so that they can't be traced or tracked. So unfortunately, this thing's pretty old style. I don't know what the value of it is, but it's not worth anything to us. And I'm sure at this point with all the corrosion, there's no information the police can get off of it. I found this big knife and normally finding a big knife under a bridge is a bad sign, but this is a fillet knife. So this is used to cut bait and cut up fish. So it's a very, very sharp knife, but it's probably just used for fishing and nothing bad. And you could buy one of these at the store for about 10 bucks. So it's not really that valuable. This is the big find of the day. This is a MacBook Air. This is probably a stolen laptop. It was probably in someone's backpack or luggage and the backpack or luggage got stolen and then the thieves ditched the computer in the water so that they couldn't be tracked. 
Now, unfortunately to the person who lost this, this computer is worth over a thousand dollars. It's a really, really nice laptop. It's probably someone's work laptop or school laptop. They probably had a lot of important information on it, but unfortunately, because it's been in the water for so long, the salt water has damaged it uh, beyond any ability to look at any of the information on it. So the thing is totally junk at this point, which is really sad. And I'm sure there's no way to recover any fingerprints or anything off this set point for police. So really this thing's just gonna go in the garbage, but it was a pretty cool find. We also found this laptop, two laptops in one day, but this looks like a really old Dell laptop or something. And it's been in the water for a long time because the batteries exploded, all the circuits are completely fried in it. This thing is just total junk and it's a big thick brick at this point, but pretty funny that we found two laptops in one day. I found this nice stainless steel Yeti cup underwater. Normally there's like 20, 30 bucks, but unfortunately this one's all rusted and it's probably no good. Now also I did find this battery underwater. So this is a small boat battery. Now I think I can take this in to the auto parts store and trade this in and recycle it, but at least we're getting it out of the water because batteries are full of lead and other toxic materials. Thanks for watching this treasure hunting video and please drop it in the comments below if you have any cool search locations I should go visit. Thanks again for watching guys and have a good one.